Happy Friday, your majesties. I have another scary story for you guys. This one is called Lemonade Stand. Okay, the Lemonade Stand is a creepy story about two young boys who sell lemonade by the side of the road when they get when they encounter a strange couple in a rusty old car. Uh-oh. I grew up in a very small town in Montana. And during the summer, my brother and I would sometimes sell lemonade by the side of the road. We didn't make a lot of money, but we did have fun selling the lemonade to people who were passing by. Um, one hot afternoon, my brother and I were standing at our lemonade stand when we noticed an old rusty car pass by us two or three times. At the time, it struck it struck me as a little creepy. Eventually, the car slowed down and stopped right in front of the stand. There was a woman in the passenger seat, and as she rolled her window down, I saw she was really skinny with gray hair that was stained a sickly yellow hue from too much smoking. Uh-oh. I couldn't see the man who was driving very well because he never looked at me and just stared straight ahead. Both of them seemed very odd, and their clothes were old and dirty. Oh my gosh, I would get your parents as soon as I, I run inside and get your mom or your dad. Um, you boys, you boys out here selling lemonade all by yourselves, croaked the woman. Yeah, my mom lets us, I replied. Is your mom home, she asked. Yeah, she's in the house, I said. The woman turned and looked at the man who was driving. He nodded, still staring straight ahead. The woman turned back to me and said, Okay, I'll have a lemonade. That'll be 25 cents, I said as I poured her a glass. She rummaged around her purse and couldn't... I'm sorry. She rummaged around her purse and I could hear coins clinking. Then she pulled out a $5 bill and held it out to me. A chill went down my spine. Why was she why was she handing me a $5 bill if she had coins in her purse? Something just didn't feel right. I don't have any change. I lied. You can keep the change, she croaked. Just come and take it. Something felt very wrong, but $5 is a lot of money to a kid. Um, um, I walked up to her car and reached out to take the $5 from her hand. As soon as my fingers touched it, the woman suddenly grabbed me by the wrist and began pulling me into her car. I screamed my lungs out and my brother ran to the house yelling for help. The man floored the um, the accelerator, and the car lurched forward. I fought with all my might and managed to wrench myself free from her gasp. The car stopped and the man got out, but I was already running for my life. My brother was pounding on the door and screaming. My mother, my mother rushed. My mother rushed out, and I turned just in time to see a rusty old car speeding away. We told my mom what had happened, and she called the police. Good. Good for your mom, and good for you for getting help. Um, when my brother and I calmed down and went back to the lemonade stand, there was a $5 bill lying on the ground. We packed up the lemonade stand and put it away for good. Oh my gosh. Um, wow. Good for you for getting your mom help and good for your mom for calling the police. I'm, I'm very happy, you guys. I'm very happy your brother was okay and I'm happy you're okay. Um, even though it's a story. I still like to think it's real. Anywho, um, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think of it. Um, if you're new here, hi, I'm Princess Peyton. 
hit the red button to become your majesty and hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a video. And I love you guys so much. You guys are the best human beings ever made. And you're the king of my heart in the song and lyrics of Taylor Swift. And I will see you guys in Monday's video. Next week, I'm going to just upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So you guys are going to be getting three videos from me. So I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys on Monday. Okay, I love you. Bye. Mwah.